Welcome to Sally's YouTube channel. My name is Bonnie Mishonga. I'm from South Africa, Mpumalanga in North Bay to be specific. But I am currently based in Russia doing my fifth year of medicine at Astrakhan State Medical University. And in this, as stated above, is uh, the life of a fifth year medical student at Astrakhan State Medical University in Russia. So here goes nothing. I've got a couple of questions that Selu sent me and I'll be trying to go through them as honestly and as quickly as I possibly can. So bear with me as I keep on looking at my phone because that's where the questions are. So yes, let's start. The first question is, which high school did I go to? Okay, so since I've already stated above that I'm from Bumalanga in Northbridge, um, I went to a high school called Sijintile High School. Yay, high, high school of mine. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the next question is um, your metric marks levels for APS. I think I got uh, around 30 something, which was pretty high, and it was enough to allow me to apply for medical school if I had applied directly from high school today. Okay, so the next question is how did you apply to study at university? For my current university right now in Russia, I applied via an agency called Ruckus, which works with the Pumalanga and other provinces as well, like um, I think the Metro State. Yes, uh, it's Ruckus. It helps um, students in South Africa to be able to apply abroad in Russia to be specific to study medicine. And that's how I applied and that's how I got here. And then the next question is, how did you prepare for the NPT? Okay, so for the NPT, since I did apply at home as well for medicine, I had a mentor who helped me um, study most of the time for the mathematics things and then helped me uh, prepare for the NBT as well, which was quite nice to help, to have somebody help me out there as well. And uh, what's next? Um, how did you get into medicine? Was it BSc route, uh, approximate geometric marks and degree average? Um, Okay, so with me, I have a previous degree actually because I started uh, by studying um, a Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice, um, Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice at the University of Pretoria. I completed that. Um, it's for a profession called uh, Physician's Assistant or um, Clinical Associate. That's what I studied with. And then I worked for a year and a half and then an opportunity presented itself for me to be able to apply medicine and go study abroad and then I applied. I took a chance, I applied and I got accepted and here I am. So this is how I got here. And then um, how are you funding your fees at the moment? Okay, so currently I am a bursary holder from the, from it's, it's a government bursary um, from the Department of Education and Health back at home. That's how I am funding my studies currently. Okay, so the next question is um, your first year experience of medical student lifestyle. Okay, I'm going to just be honest. It is completely different from what I experienced when I was at home because I had my first experience at home at the University of Pretoria and now I'm here in, in Russia in Astrakhan. So back at home, it was familiar surroundings even though I was away from home. It wasn't that far away from home. Um, it was quite overwhelming, exciting and scary at the same time because here yeah, I am in this big place with everything moving at a fast pace um, and I kind of had to adjust and adapt and I did and it didn't really take that long. And then my first year experience here was slightly a bit different because now I was like miles and miles away from my family, friends and everything that I know that is familiar from the language, the food and everything. It was quite more overwhelming if anything and having to adjust to all of that took some time but yay we made it here we are now and then the next question is um which modules are done in first year um the modules that are done in first year for anything medical even with my previous degree it, there's some that are similar from back at home and here and this would be your mathematics uh mathematics uh calculus um, physical sciences and um, biology and uh, what else what else chemistry as well yeah those are the common ones that are done in first year back at home in here and then there's some differences for example here in russia when you do medicine first year you have the russian language you have history of uh, russia history of medicine law of some things that you don't do back at home so as it's, those are just some of the differences but yeah and then the next question is, um, um, next question is, 
which module is the worst and how can one prepare for this module okay so it's a module called topographical anatomy and this one i don't know i don't think it's done at home it's kind of like surgery and stuff um but it's slightly different from at home so this one this one it, it, it was difficult because the teacher was very strict and very difficult as well and another thing that made it difficult is the fact that it was a lot of work to do um, in a short span of time and i'm just grateful that we made it by the grace of god we went we did it we passed and here we are now so the rest is history okay so the next question is how is varsity life as a medical student in comparison to uh, example science student to my previous degree i would say it's more or less the same or it's similar uh, because basically um we study almost the same things just that here it's more of russian language than back at home so those would be the differences that i'm encountering currently and then the next question is um what keeps you going when the road gets tough i definitely remind myself why i started and the fact that i had to leave my whole life behind and everything that matters to me to pursue this degree so that reminds me whenever i start slacking i'll be like i have my family back at home my friends and everyone that cares about me that's rooting for me and they're waiting for me and they're looking up to me so i always remember why i started the passion the motivation and everything that got me here so i just remind myself and i get back up and i start continue and then i continue where i left off so yes the next question is um how would you describe your current um your, your current year in comparison to your previous year of medical school advice on how to prepare how would you describe your current year in comparison to your previous year of medical school advice on how to prepare for these years um i would say first year was a bit difficult to balance social life and school life and coming with the mentality that you were thinking it's like high school where you will be taught everything and spoon fed and whatnot and whatnot only to find that you actually have to teach yourself most of the things so i think in the beginning it was a bit difficult to grasp that until um as the years went on that's when you realize that oh okay actually you have to put in the work and push yourself twice as much so that you can get the results that you want so i think the difference would be that now i know how to balance both uh, school work and uh, social life and it's just a lesson that we all learn that you have to learn to play hard and work as hard just just as hard as well so that's just one of the things that are different now Okay, and then the final question is advice to future and current medical students. Okay, I'm definitely going to say that remember, always focus on the dreams that you've, you've, you've set yourself for yourself, you've set for yourself. Don't lose focus. If you know that you want to do medicine from the start, from the get go, listen, apply directly. And if you are unable to do so, you start somewhere, don't be discouraged. You can still apply and still do it. And once you are doing medicine, just don't forget why you started to begin with and keep pushing yourself until you reach where you want to go. So just always keep it moving, no matter what happens. Remember why you started. So that's the advice that I have for future and um, what's um current medical students just keep going and don't lose focus so from me to you from russia to everywhere else in the world with love i hope this helps if somebody out there bye and thank you for having me stay on your channel our greatest glory is never in falling but in rising every time we fall if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated. 